Would you like to learn how to make a delicious seafood boil just like this? Well, in this episode of the Lisa D. Delight Show, I'm going to show you how to make an amazing seafood boil. We're going to use some crab, some lobster, some shrimp, some garlic and herbs. And yeah, I know the title says seafood boil, but we're about to make this dish in the oven. That way we preserve the flavors and heighten the yumminess. Y'all already know I does this, man. Now let's get it. Lisa D. Delight. I got noises in my stomach, so I guess I'm feeling hungry. I click that YouTube Lisa D so I can kill this rumbling. But when I'm in the kitchen, don't know what I'm First, we want to start by cleaning and cutting our lobster. You want to cut off the fins, the feet, the hooves, whatever you call them. And then you want to find your thumb and put it like in between the membrane and the shell of the lobster that way you create a little pocket to put your shears in and then cut the lobster shell down the back like I rinse off my lobster before and after I cut it I like to cut my lobster tails all the way in half when I'm doing a seafood boil that way you stretch it and you make more lobster tails so everybody is likely to get a piece of lobster and to cut it all the way in half it's easier when you cut the shell first and then take your shears and cut all the way through the lobster meat speaking of lobster have you seen my recipe for broiled lobster tails with garlic and herb butter no girl please get your life recipe above you're welcome as always your shopping list and measurements will be in the description box below. So take some better than bouillon lobster base and season the lobster with it. The lobster base adds amazing flavor, but if you don't have it, just use a little adobo instead or some seasoned salt. And squeeze a little fresh lemon juice all over the lobster tails. I should have done that first, but anywho. Then add some white pepper and Old Bay. Guys, I am so extremely grateful and happy because of you. You guys have helped me reach my goal of hitting 1K with this channel. And I really appreciate you guys. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And I couldn't have done it without you. So thank you so very much. So now I think we need a name for our new family. I came up with the LDD family. Tell me in the comments, what do you think about that name for us? I like it. I think it has a nice ring to it. So take a little bit more better than bouillon lobster base and put a little directly on the crab legs as well as some fresh lemon juice. We're not gonna use any salt because better than bouillon lobster base gives amazing flavor to all seafood and it's already salted. Then go ahead and take some garlic butter and pour the garlic butter directly onto the crab legs. The garlic butter is gonna give it super yummy flavor and it's also gonna allow our other seasonings to adhere to the crab legs the seasonings actually seep through the shell and infuse delicious flavor into the crab meat i like to make my own homemade garlic butter because it adds sensational flavor to so many dishes of course i'll put the recipe to the garlic butter above you're welcome but if you don't have it all you have to do is melt you some butter put some fresh garlic in it and some fresh parsley and some scallions. Next, we're gonna season our crab with some Old Bay, some garlic powder, onion powder, and white pepper. Now, if you're fat, greedy, and gluttonous like me, you can make a reverse seared ribeye steak to go with this seafood boil with some yummy bacon butter. Yes, girl. A little surf and turf ain't never hurt nobody. So then massage all the seasonings into the crab legs just like so rub it up flip it rub it down ow do you guys like fried green tomatoes tell me in the comments if you like fried green tomatoes or not i happen to love them so i made a video about it like to see it it's coming soon turn on those notifications now let's season the shrimp i'm using colossal size shrimp and you want to hit it with some fresh lemon juice and a little 
of Better Than Bullion Lobster Base again. And some Old Bay. As you can tell, those are pretty much my go-tos when I'm making any kind of seafood. The Lobster Base Fresh Lemon and Old Bay. Gotta have it. And also hit it with some white pepper, some garlic powder and onion powder. But just a little bit of these seasonings, not too much because seafood is delicate and you never want to over season it. And then rub it up, flip it, massage it good. One more time for the one time. And then we're going to add in everything to this one pan. Incorporate all of our ingredients all together in one so that we can put it in the oven. So you want to add your seasoned shrimp to the pan with the crab legs and some potatoes. I like to use these multicolored potatoes. They're blue, white, and red potatoes. They come in a bag. I get it from Walmart. Add in some smoked sausage, whatever kind of sausage you like. Add the lobster tails, some eggs, and some corn. And like I said, the ingredients and measurements, your shopping list will be in the description box below. Then hit this with some more yummy garlic butter and massage all of this goodness up into this pan. Try to get everything mixed up nicely. Oh, I forgot to say that this is gonna go in the oven and potatoes take longer to cook than the rest of our ingredients. So you wanna pre-cook your potatoes in the microwave for like eight minutes before adding them to the pan. Then go in with some parsley. This doesn't have any flavor, but it gives it that vibrant green color and it makes it look like we put in some work into this dish. So I like to make my seafood boil in the oven as opposed to boiling everything on the stovetop. To me, it's just more flavorful this way because the water just dilutes the seasonings to me. But when you do it this way in the oven, all the seasonings adhere to the seafood and it's just up and it's stuck and more yummy up. We're gonna let this bake at 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. After that, we're going to take it out and hit it with some more garlic butter. All this delicious garlic butter at the bottom of the pan is going to turn into our seasoned dipping sauce when it's time to eat. And then put it back in the oven on broil for about five minutes. Place it on the shelf that's farthest away from your broiler so that it doesn't burn. Another reason I like to do it in the oven is because I love that charred look that broiling it gives. I like for my food to have some color and that charred look just does it for me. When it comes out, it'll look like this. Yes, my God forever. Look at this deliciousness up in here. Oh my God, it was so delicious. Please forgive me for not tasting it for you on camera. We just purchased a new home and moving is like sending me. There's so much going on. But trust me when I tell you it was super yummy. Yes, and thank you to my Lord and Savior. Without him, I can do nothing. Girl, I'm telling you, make your seafood boil like this. When you make your seafood boil the Lisa D way, it'll have you throwing your big old stock pot away. I am just having so much fun creating these recipes and sharing them with you. I just have to say thank you again. I really appreciate and love you guys. I had planned on cracking a bottle of champagne with you guys, but I didn't make it to the store. But we'll have to do that in another video. But anyway, thank you again, LDD family for life. Period, Pooh. Make sure you like and subscribe. So good. Make sure you like and subscribe. And you make so good. Make sure you like and subscribe. Good. Make sure you like and subscribe. And you make it so good. Make sure you like and subscribe.